What I want to do in these series of videos is to um, focus on a couple of episodes from the number blocks. Um, episodes are fun to watch, you can sit, 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 sit with your child and watch it, um, but also that the children will get more out of it if there's some follow-up work um, to go with it. Um, and that's what I want to do, do today, is just to give you a few ideas um, in order to support and enhance your children's maths learning um, while they're at home. Um, let me tell you about the number blocks. Um, a number blocks is um, number three. Um, if number three is, unsurprisingly, made from three blocks. And number three's three blocks can come apart and they can join together. They can join with another number block. Here's number six that I'm going to focus on today. And three and six join together and become nine. In the animation of the TV programme that you watch, you, um, as, as they become nine, they will instantly change into the character nine, who happens to have nine grey bricks. They can be used for um, the ranges that I'm, I'm talking about, reception through to key stage one. And I'm going to start off with some um, suggested activities for those, for those groups. Um, in particular, I'm going to focus on the episode that introduces six. Up until this point, we've only had the numbers one to five. And one day, six comes along. The number blocks are really excited to, to meet um, a new friend. And that new friend is formed from five blocks, which already exist, with one more added to it. And that's how all the number blocks are formed. The next number, seven, would then be formed from six um, and one more. And that idea of adding one more to make a new number is really important in early learning um, of mathematics. What I would recommend, just one resource, um, um, and all the others I, are, are freely available resources I would use, but I, I would recommend some interlocking cubes um, in order to make the, the number blocks. Um, interlocking cubes, um, they're either called interlocking or link cubes um, on the internet. And the advantage of these is that you can make your own number block characters. So there's number one, which is easy. Number one is red and only has one block. Number two has two blocks um, joined together. And there's number two, two blocks. When we get to three, um, there's our three blocks. But one of the key things about the number blocks is that they can change shape. So sometimes three is in that shape, one, two, three, like a little tall tower. And sometimes three takes on a different shape, maybe an L shape. One of the advantages of that for children's learning in mathematics is that they can see the number three in different ways. So in the L shape, they can see not only is three three ones, but also three is a two and one more. Um, and that's an important aspect of the early number, that, that in, inside numbers are other numbers. So inside three, there is also two and one. And in the programme, quite often three might partition into two and one, and they would change into um, the number block two and the number block, the number block one. So that's for our, our very youngest children, making the number blocks, counting the blocks and recognising in um, the blocks are other numbers. For example, another example is four. Four happens to be green and four's default shape, four likes to be um, square. I found it really interesting how young children have really cottoned on to square numbers, something that's probably quite advanced for their age. But they just like seeing the shape of, of four and, and want to investigate other numbers um, that also make um, a square shape. For quite a while in number blocks, four is the only square number. But one day, nine appears, which is made of, of, of nine bricks and can also make a square shape, a three by three um, grid. And number four is so excited to meet um, number nine another square. Eventually the square numbers um, form a club called Square Club um, and they have lots of fun and lots of adventures 
such as going on a square hunt in order to find um, other squares. But the, the investment in some interlocking cubes, I think, is, is well worthwhile. They will give children hours of exploration and engagement um, with the mathematics. So as I said today, I'm particularly going to be thinking about um, the number six. Um, one, all, the, all the number blocks have characteristics. Um, the characteristics of number six is that she is made of dice. I don't know whether you can see that clearly um, if I just hold it up to the camera there. Each of her bricks has a dice pattern on it and she loves playing games. Um, one of the games um, you might like to make um, for your child um, is, to, is to make a game whereby really 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 simple game all they do is draw uh, six circles one two three four five six six circles and in each circle writing the numbers one two three four five six and then with a dice to be able to throw the dice Oh, I've thrown the dice and I've got, oh, I've got a six. And I can put um, a brick in my number six. And, of course, I throw the dice again. Let's see what number I'm going to get. What I'm going to get next. Oh, I've got a one. I can put a brick inside my one. And, of course, the aim is to fill up my grid. I've just mentioned the, the, the use of it, the word the use of dice um, here. Um... Dice hold a very specific mathematical property in that the numbers are arranged in a fixed pattern. So we always see a number five um, on a dice um, just like that. Um, Recognising that that is five without counting, it, research says that actually that's a really good skill for children to develop in, in mathematics. Um, so, 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 so try to get your children to stop saying what when you say what number is that they might they'll probably want to go one two three four five. Try and stop them doing that. Say next time, I wonder can you recognise that pattern, and instead of counting five, just tell me straight away that that's five. Subitizing seems a difficult word, but actually all it means is recognising without counting. And children who can do this, the research says, do well in maths. It's a really good skill to be developing, which you can, do, which you can develop um, through playing uh, dice games. Um, moving up a little bit um, into, into Key Stage 1 um, and Year 1, and in particular Year 2, um, I'm going to refer to the, uh, another episode featuring Six, and that is called Counting Sheep. Um, six, in this episode, plays the role of a farmer who has six sheep. There's my six sheep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've lost one. And one more is six. And um, she, she asks, you notice I said she, um, all the number blocks do have genders. I'll just let you into a secret. But all the important numbers are female. So one is female, five is female, and ten is female. Apologies to your, you dads out there. But we're trying to buck the stereotype that it's only boys who are good at maths. Girls are just as good at maths. Um, and so we made the important numbers um, female. Um, so with my with six is six sheep, she, she likes to put them in equal groups. She puts them, she can put them into groups of two. So we put those two together and those two together and those two together. And then she's got three groups of two. You're probably recognising what's happening here is that we're moving into early multiplication by putting quantities into equal groups. Ask your child, can they put them into equal groups a different way? And hopefully they'll come up with something like, oh, we can put them into groups of three um, as well. And of course, we can also have six ones um, to go with that. So that's early multiplication. You might want to extend that um, going back to my groups of two to doing some counting in twos. Um, this comes in in year, in year one in the curriculum and it's good for children to become fluent 
in counting two, four, six, um, and you might want to extend that into eight and ten um, with that. But that's a very good preparation for multiplication that comes up um, in year two. I'm going to stop now and after that little introduction to the number blocks, um, but there will be another video coming up um, which will give you more ideas and direct you to. Just before I go, just to say um, the, the episode called Six is currently on iPlayer um, and you can watch it and I hope you have fun exploring Six with your child. Thank you for listening. Thank you.